All right, our first build of Anakin Lex version 1912.10 is finished. It's going to be an ISO of 2.1 gig. It's our complete ISO. It has everything we need to develop. It has GIMP, it has Inkscape, anything we require. So it's going to be this version, 1912.10, 9.21, five minutes ago. Okay, that's the one. I'm going to show you what to do and boot up. There are some minor differences. We've uh, added two new modules on Calamaris or changed uh, Calamaris to be um, to get extra functionality. And two major things are support for NVIDIA driver, just NVIDIA driver, not 390. A support for the Linux LTS kernel and also, we are going to fix it automatically that AMD U-code or Intel U-code is installed already on the system in your folder boot. So we have a first choice, uh, how to install, right? Choose your language, all good. That's the reference, so a number for Calamares. And then we have this new screen that we've never seen before. Now, the tip is, um, if you need NVIDIA, you click on it, otherwise you keep off. Right, because um, there's little bugs still in there that's going to be fixed completely soon. But if you just click NVIDIA and all its extra packages will be installed, as simple as that. So I'm not going to need it in VirtualBox, so I keep off. Next thing is again the same thing. If you don't need it, don't touch it. So if you don't need the Linux LTS kernel, the long-term support one, then you don't install it. So try out first the general Linux kernel. If it gives you issues, Try again with this Linux LTS, okay? Then it's the same uh, procedure as always. Um, pinpoint where you live, the time zone, or drop down and choose. Choose the language you like, if you want to change it or not, all right? But normally this changes when you change up there the language. And then next, I go for Belgian, a Zerti keyboard, you can install alongside if something is already on there. You can say, I'm going to divide it into pieces or replace a partition. If you have one, two, three, four partitions, you replace one partition. But I make my life simple. I just erase everything. I don't need swap. I have 16 gigabytes, so not required at all. So this is my setup. You choose whatever you require. And then you let the system do its work. This is also new. This line up here is um, because of the new Calamaris. And then you say here the name of your uh, well, system. In my case, I rename naming it Arcolinux. A very difficult password. I want to log in automatically. Use the same password for administrator account. You choose what you want. And then with this last button, it's going to install. Now, Calamaris is free and it's getting better all the time, but at this point in time, it can go wrong. When you're going to override partitions and you, when the system doesn't know what kind of partitions you had prior to the installation, so it may hang. There is a solution, as always. On arclinks.com, there is a whole menu there about Calamaris. And there is a, an, an um, article with, I think, 30 plus videos just about explaining everything about Calamari. There's so much you can do. You can partition, you can uh, use Windows with uh, Calamari, with uh, Linux, uh, etc, etc. But there's also how to fix a crash in Calamari there. So often it just boils down to get uh, gparted. So in this case, we are on XFCE. We can just type it in, gparted, launch this guy, say erase everything clean slate start from zero then restart calamaris which can be done with installing with typing install and you have here two pop-ups one for debugging modes or the more technical guys and this is just the installer you see here because this does not have a line here otherwise debugging will have a line saying hey here are all the variables to debug Okay, let's wait for the installation. It's going to take longer than the Arclinux T. Obviously, it's double the size. So the unpacking thing is, is always long. And it's not 
gradually. You, you, th you think it's hanging. It's not because you see these images uh, change, but um, it's, it is long until you see how oh, we're finished. It jumps from, from 90 to 50 or something and then oh, everything is finished. So bear in mind that um, this is not accurate and that you do not have a hanging system. You just have to wait till it's finished. Let's pause the video here. And there we go. Suddenly the rush goes on and is installing like hell. It's just a slider that's um, a little bit strange. Maybe you've seen the extra images, the new images here in Calamaris. It just tries to convey what Arclinx really is all about. And then we start we're in virtual box so the iso is still in there so i'm gonna go to this one and then boot up this is our new linux system and this is your system that contains xfce openbox ni3 it can be your learning system where you start um, figuring out what it is that you like as a desktop environment, but also figuring out the kind of applications you like. And then in the, in the learning, we have some learning phases to check out on ArcLinks.info. You can move to an ArcLinks D ISO, choose any of our 15 desktops, or you can go to ArcLinks B, build your own ISO or download it. But the point is it's built, it's created so that you can choose the software that's going to go on your ISO, just your ISO, personal ISO, just for you. The only thing you need to do is follow some tutorials and you can add applications to your ISO. All right, so that's it. Uh, system works. Everything is, is working here. All the applications are working. The variety is kicking in. As you see, this is the one of our um, apps that is going to change the wallpapers for now and then again so the preferences go ahead and change the preferences you like or don't start and set your prefer your wallpaper one time and leave it as it is it's all possible with a variety there are so many other applications so go and check them out and have fun